Leah. Leah. I was just about to come. Oh, well, there's Tipper. Mia's right there, and then Stella is back there. Um, Mia and Stella and Tipper uh, got a treat and got to stay out in the nursery today. I had to put all the other thir 12 kittens, there's 12, in carriers and put them in the hallway because I got in this here this morning and it looked like a bomb had gone off. There was poop all over this wall and the floor. Um, the litter boxes looked, they were wrecked. There was food all up here. Um, like these litter, actually on this side of the wall, the litter boxes were not bad, but this side was terrible. What is it, honey? I know, they're hungry. Um, and so I have taken every, I took everything out. I mopped the floor twice, then I steamed it with the steamer. I got all new food bowls. Um, the only thing I didn't clean that I wish I did is this, but I just put, it's not like peed or pooped on, but they get food on it. So I just put a little thing over it. Um, and I'll get that next time. But I want to document how clean it is. And now I'm taking advantage of the fact that they're in um, carriers and I'm going to weigh them all and then um, do their dewormer. And I'm gonna add the panicure to it. Uh, normally I just do the pyrantal and the presantifil, but I'm gonna add panicure because a couple of them um, are just not doing great, and Mia is one of them. That's one of the reasons Mia got to stay out. Uh, she's thrown up clear a couple times, and I've had to give her fluids and glucose. Hi, gorgeous. I know my love bug. I know my love bug. Yes. I know. You want a toy? You want a toy? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, see? Can you see how she's gotten... Uh, she's not skinny, but she's muscle wasting, um, and you can tell because you can see the bones back there. So, uh, I do want to weigh them all and give them all the stuff. <clears throat> but that's it. I just wanted to document it. I know I'm coming, but um, before I even get them out, I'm going to feed the babies in the closet. They are having the greatest time in these boxes, and I brought the boxes in here to distract them um, so I could clean because it's getting harder and harder to clean in here. As you can see, the litter boxes have been moved because I'm trying to clean right there. But if I go over there and move that litter box, they'll stop playing in the boxes and start climbing me. So I hate that the litter box is in the shot, but that's just the way it is. Go play with your box. Go play with your box. See, I got too close. What do you think? The 
I had to mow everything. It has actually been a week since I have filmed a single video. Oh, you got something on you. Quentin is, oh, did that scare you? Yeah, that's a broom. Somebody's playing with a broom. Um, it's been a rough week. Hello. Hello. Um, one of the baby, bottle babies in foster care got sick. And then Rick and Mia got really sick. You can tell. Do you see how skinny Mia still is? And Rick is, where is Rick? Oh, Rick is up there. Um, Rick is just now starting to recover. Like this morning was the first time he ate. Mia has been eating for a couple days now. Uh, they got really, really sick. Like, and we, we still don't know what it is because um, they have really good poop. Their poop tested negative for everything. They did not have any of respiratory symptoms. They did not have um, any, well, I only actually took uh, Rick uh, to the vet. I did not take Mia because I knew they both had the same thing. Um, but his blood work was fine. So we're not sure. They just stopped eating and they just slept and cried. They cried a lot. Hi, Quentin. Hi. Hi, Nikolai. And there is Remy. But, um, so... They, we had them on fluids every morning and evening. And with their morning fluids, they were getting dextrose. And with their evening fluids, they were getting B12. And this, uh, it took three days of that for Mia to start eating. Um, oh, uh, it's okay. It's just the broom. Tell your brothers and sisters to quit playing with the broom. It won't scare you. Um... It took three days for uh, Mia to start eating. We are, it took, today is day four, and Rick just started eating today. Let's go see Rick. Um, hi, baby. Hi. I know. But he is, he is eating, so it's all good, because as soon as Mia started eating, she was fine. Uh, but for some reason, they just stopped. Uh, we don't know. Um, but, thank goodness, everything is getting better. Also, it's very difficult to film when everyone is at different stages of potty training and different stages of eating. <laughs> so, a lot of my time has been spent cleaning. Like hours and hours of cleaning but they are all oh did somebody get your tail did somebody get your tail no oh no quentin's just trying to clean himself poor thing quentin has so much fur to clean i mean it is so thick <laughs> oh goodness yes you do um hello hello this is jackie yeah Jackie and Quentin. Um, oh, and there's Leo. Say hi, Leo. Uh, but everyone has pretty much gotten the hang of it. The litter box in the last couple days. I have not come in and there will be gross places. I mean, the litter boxes still look trash most of the time. But that's okay because it's mostly in the litter box. Every now and then it will be on a pee pad. But it's still, it's all good. Oh, that would have been cute. Here. Are you coming out of there? Oh, oh, <laughs> there are nuts over these boxes. Um, now you probably, you might be able to notice I didn't film for a week because the kittens, some of them have really, really grown. Um, but they, I think they all were in here. I know, I know the uh, Thomas is hungry. Um, but it's really actually not time for Thomas's food. Hello, hi Dipper. Hi, hello. Now, 
the good, some of the good news is that we have pre-adoptions on Tipper and um, pre-adoptions on Sasha and Natasha. Hello. Yes, hi, hi, hi. And then I believe we are going to find out soon. We have to have a vet visit before this happens. And um, the vet visit is supposed to happen in two days. I believe that... Ouch! Ouch, get the bibble. Ouch, get the bibble. That Remy will be going home with Tipper. Um, and it is a person that I actually know. Yes, it is. He is a person that I know. Um, because I really believe Remy has CH. Um, and thank goodness it's it's not terrible. I mean, I've, I've heard of worse CH. I've never really had an actual kitten or an actual CH kitten. Um, but I've sent a lot of video to the vet. Come on, get down. And, um, she does show all, he, he does show all the symptoms. Um, but that's okay because it's not a progressive disease. What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of fuzz. It's not a progressive disease. And he, like I said, it's mild. Oh, oh they finally got the broom over. Did you finally get the broom over? They don't even care. It didn't even scale. It is Cosmo and, which one are you? Are you Ivan? Yeah, it's Cosmo and Ivan. Of course, look, they got the little pile all. Now it's all gone everywhere. Yeah, don't look at those litter boxes. I haven't worked, I haven't done that side yet. I'm working on it. Yeah, look at Cosmo. Cosmo is like a bear, for real. Serious. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, well that's it. I just wanted to let you know that some now, they're not leaving yet. Now, Sasha and Natasha will probably leave in a couple days because I am doing a, ow, 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 a foster to adopt on them uh, because I know, um, well, I don't know, no, but I kind of know, and I know, like, they're friends of friends, uh, and I know that I will be able to get them to take them to spay and neuter when the spay, ow, okay, y'all. Ooh, that hurts me. Um, Jackie, settle. Uh, when the spay and neuter services are open. So, they will be going. You've got eye bookers. Um, in a couple days. And then, I don't know when Tipper and, well, I don't even know. For 100% about Remy yet. Oh, they are killing me. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yes, we are. Laura Prestridge sent us some goodies. Uh, it says, Hi, Stephanie. Enjoy your gift from Laura Prestridge. Um, and the first thing that she sent that, look, I just discovered these. And I know everybody's probably like, What? But I was watching an Instagram video. And they had, well, actually they had the mouse one. Um, but I started, you should have seen all the things that I Googled to figure out what these things were called. Um, that they hang above the door and they're on like a um, bounty string. Hello, Figlet. You want to come be in the video? Hey, do you want to come be in? No. Okay. Um, and they just look so fun uh, that I thought, oh, I want to try these out. And this one is huge. This one is a lot bigger. Um, it's as big as my hand. Um, so I think they're going to be really fun. But they just kind of hang above the door. And then the cats can like pull and whack them. I love it. Love it. I cannot believe I haven't seen it before now. And then she sent a self-warming crate pad. Um, I had a bunch of these. I, I really, really, really like these. Um, for inside and outside, I used them both, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was the first year I started doing this that I got um, several, 
and they have just worn out. Um, so I'm very happy to see that. And she sent over my newest favorite dewormer. I've talked about this a million times. It deworms everything. And then there are three things of food. There are two pate, poultry and beef fancy feast, and a grilled uh, fancy feast. And then this is really exciting. I haven't opened it yet because, you know, sanitation. Um, but it is a blanket, and it's supposed to be a self-heating blanket. Um, so, pretty much it's a soft, big one of these kind of things. Um, I am very excited to see how this works. Uh, but, like I said, not going to open it yet for sanitation purposes. Now, um, these all came yesterday and a lot of times my stuff comes over a several day period so Laura if this isn't everything I am sorry I'm having a ton of different meetings and visitations today and so I need to film it so I can put it away but if more comes I will add um, either to this one or it'll be on another one uh, but thank you Laura very very much and then, in light of that, yesterday I filmed some mail times, um, and Jay had sent over a bunch of stuff, and then this arrived um, this morning. <laughs> and it's kind of a big purchase, so I didn't want to leave it out, but it is a nebulizer. I know it's called Cold Mist Compressor System, but it's a nebulizer. And I do have one However, with kitten season coming, um, I do feel like last year I do remember thinking, oh, I wish I had two of these because instead of taking turns, you know, and having to set everything up because they can't go in the same, you know, if it's two different litter of kittens, they have to be in two separate carriers when the system is running because of sanitation purposes or I'd have to sanitize in between, which takes too long. So instead of having to set one carrier up and then pull out, you know, the nebulizer, sanitize it, and put it in the other one, if I have two, I can have them running at the same time, which will be a lifesaver. So thank you, Jay. Thank you, Laura. And I hope everyone is having a great week.